Alrighty, and now we are going to build out our very first lab. Uh, Packet Tracer allows you to build out labs as well as consume the labs that have already been created for you. Uh, by being able to build out your own lab or your own network device, uh, devices in here, you can essentially simulate what an existing environment or a potentially existing environment would look like and then be able to test those configurations in a lab environment without causing production issues. Our lab environment is going to be fairly simple. We are going to have a router in the middle. On one side we'll have a server and then on the other side we will have a couple of PCs. And then we will have some switches and cabling to connect all of these guys together. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you probably remember if you've worked with Packet Tracer before that down here at the bottom we have our device chooser. So for instance right here we have network devices, end user devices, components, connections, and so on. And then when you choose the type of connect type of device, the sub options show up. For instance, under network devices, we have routers, switches, hubs, and so on. So I want to start by putting in a router. So we'll choose network devices, routers, and in this case, I specifically want the 2911. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag the 2911 router onto the desktop here, and it plops in nice and handy for me. I'm also going to want to use a couple of switches, so let's grab some switches. So network devices, switches, and the switch doesn't necessarily matter in this point. Uh, I'm just going to use the 2960 default switch, and I want three of those. And then I need my PCs and my servers, so I'm going to go to end devices, and on the left here, let's go ahead and drop in a couple of PCs. And then on the right, we'll drop in a server. Last thing we need to do is cable these guys up. So we'll go over here to networks, and we want a straight through ca copper cable. Uh, specifically, you should be able to hit control and this. And then as you add them in, let's see, fast ethernet, fast ethernet. Uh, you'll notice that the mouse cursor still has the cable connector. So I'm able to just simply click again from one host to the switch, host to the switch, and then switch to router, switch to router, and switch to router. And then to get rid of the mouse, or I'm sorry, to get rid of the uh, cabling, just hit escape on your keyboard. And there we have it. We have our very first network diagram built out. Uh, to add in a little bit more logic, let's go ahead and add in some comments or some notes. So let's put a note over here. This is servers. And let's call this 172.16.14.0 24. Put another note over here. We'll call this one desktops uh, 192.168.42.0 slash 24. And then another comment down here. And let's call this management and 192.168.242.0 slash 24. Maybe a few more comments. Let's go ahead and add in for the router dot one for the interfaces for each of these. And there we go. We now have our basic diagram built out and ready to be configured.